going to go through a full body mobility sequence. Uh, feel free to follow along. It takes maybe 10-15 minutes to do. Feel free to modify and I guarantee you that you're going to feel better after doing this sequence. So we're going to start with the eyes. My hands are to the edge of my peripheral vision and I'm just looking back and forth. So trying to look as fast as possible from one hand to the other but being clear. Same thing, I might do maybe five or ten of each rep. So same thing with a 45 degree angle. I'm doing my eyes. I'm switching back and forth as fast as possible in the edges of my vision. And then I'm going to do eye circles, right? This is a weird movement. I'm going to make a separate video later on how to train the eyes, but the eyes are a muscle. <clears throat> There's a lot of muscles actually in them, so it's important to train them as well. So next we have jaw. I can't really talk as I do it, but we go jaw side to side. We go open close. We go forwards and backwards. And then we're going to do jaw circles. Super important exercise um, in case you get jaw tension like I do. And after jaw goes next, so really simple, up and down. What I like to do on the down is just grab and pull around the back, move around a little bit. In the morning this one feels super gnarly. Up and down, looking from side to side, holding it there, trying to push the neck further. And then ear to shoulder. Here again, you can also grab, pull, try to push that opposite shoulder down in the opposite direction of the neck. So neck goes across, oh, hand goes out. Pretty brutal, brutal stretch. And then we can do some full neck circles a couple times each side. And then the, uh, the chicken neck, so like that. And that goes forward and then push it back into a double shin. And then next we have the shoulders. So next we're gonna lift and then drop. So lifting the shoulders, letting them drop, making them feel heavy. And then we're going to do scapular rotations. You can either go both at the same time backwards or you can do alternating. Same thing forwards. Do as many reps as you need. Then we're going to do the same backwards, but this time with the hands behind the back and pushing into the hands a little bit. So same rotation. It's just going to feel a little bit different. And then we're going to move on to arm circles, one arm at a time. Let's try to make big circles with the arm. You don't have to be super strict with what's happening in the body. I am intentionally allowing my body to rotate a little bit. Again, doing about five or as many as you see fit. Um, I'm going to quote Steve Maxwell here, who I took a workshop from a while ago. And he said something along the lines of, how many of these joint circles do you need to do? Well, the older you are, the more you need to do. So I like that idea. Basically do as, as many as you need to until you feel like you get something from it. So as I mentioned, the sequence could take 10 minutes, could take a lot longer depending on how deep you go. So arm circles, and then we're going to do a little bit of dynamic movement with the arms. So they're just loose arms swinging behind you and in front of you swing and then we're going to swing opposite one arm up one arm down arms are loose relaxed we don't want to create a lot of tension with this sequence that's not the intent the intent is actually quite the opposite just to move all the joints in the body but stay relaxed so next movement we're going to do the egyptian walk so internal rotation one arm external rotation the other arm Try to turn your head and your body towards the external rotation arm. Really cool dance move, but also really fantastic shoulder rotation movement. Next one we're going to do is the Cuban press. So basically scarecrow elbows stay in the same place, just rotating through the shoulder. 
Again, about five to 10 of those, just like every other exercise. Next one, we're gonna have drawing the sword. So arms are out and then alternate reaching, I'll show you from the back. As far as you can, try not to move the chest or the head, but if it does move a little bit, it's absolutely okay. So next one, go elbows. So I'm gonna do like throwing movements and I'm just letting the pressure go to my elbows. So I feel like it's loose, like I'm skipping rocks basically, but I'm keeping my wrist a little bit tense so that I can feel this reverberation in my bicep, in my elbow. And then we're gonna go one arm in, one arm out. So elbow goes all the way flexed, all the way extended as the shoulders rotate. Ah, I got some good pops. So a really nice one for just getting full range, full extension. And then we're gonna just shake the hands, keep them loose. So we're gonna do a little bit of wrists and fingers. So first we're just gonna open and close the hands as many times as you want. I'm gonna do about 10 or 20, not really counting. Do a few more. And then we're gonna clasp the wrist together and then roll through and rotate, but trying to keep that connection of the two hands. So I'll do about five on each side of that. Keep going. And we're gonna clasp the fingers together and do some rolling around. Roll, other way. Keep going. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a fascial stretch. So open hands as far as you can. Try to get the arms behind you as far as you can. Try to externally rotate as far as you can. And I'm just gonna do little pulses as I continue to reach my arms further out. I'm gonna do little pulses, little circles, circles. And then I'm gonna do, so I, hands go in front of the body, Round my back, I reach my arms forward as I pull them apart. I'm just gonna do a little bit of spinal movement, a little bit of twisting, stretch a bit in between the shoulder blades. And we go hips, hips forwards, hip backwards, different angles, so just hip movement. Trying not to move anything else. If the knees bend a little bit, it's okay. Not a big deal. The back arches, also okay. And I'm gonna stick the ass, stick the butt out and then just kind of shift to either hip. So it gets a little bit into the outside of the glute. Feels pretty good. Keep going. And then we're gonna do, just twist. So as I twist, what I'm gonna do is change the position of the arms slowly. I'm gonna look behind me every time. And as I move the arms into different positions, it's gonna emphasize the twist in a little bit different part of my back, twist, can let the arms go loose. If you want, you can do this kind of rotation, slap yourself in the kidneys. And then we're gonna do rib isolations. So side to side with the ribs. Don't worry if you can't do this one, honestly, just try. Just try as much as you can and it's gonna come. Then we're gonna do rib circles. So this is like, uh, I learned this one in contemporary dance class. It's a, a really nice movement. It's a movement that, again, when I first saw it, I was like, whoa, I can't do this at all. And just through practice, it gets better. You start to understand it. Circles, and we're gonna go side stretch, opposite side. You can let your hip counterbalance, just as long as you feel it through the side. Again, about five each direction. And then super cool dance move. We're just gonna do the, uh, I don't know what you call these, salsa, samba, hip circles, whatever. So the hips are moving, but it's actually the low back that's making them move. So really nice movement. And then of course, we're gonna do some spinal waves. Again, don't worry about making this look right. Just try to feel the full articulation in the spine. So round, starting the low back and going up, finishing with the head and then the other direction. About five, five or so each direction. 
One more. And then we're gonna do the classic, classic hip circle. Can't go wrong with this one. This is like the old man in the park exercise. Definitely absolute classic. About five each side. You can push the hips, play with different directions of pushing out. If you feel like get a better stretch in any particular place. And then we're gonna go into the knees. So knees together, circle as many times as you need to until you feel something. Sometimes when I do this in the morning, I get a couple nice little pops, like my knee kind of popped into place. Feels like it's where it needs to be. So definitely I've had a lot of knee injuries in the past, so I'm really big on doing lots of knee circles. And we're gonna do a bit of ankle. So stand on one leg if you wanna balance on something. You can circle as big of a circle as you can. If you find that your ankle pops a little bit in certain places, not a big deal. Let it pop, just keep moving it. As you do more of these over time, it's gonna pop less. You're gonna lubricate the joints, make them move better. So ankle circles. And then we're gonna do just a really simple, I don't know how much you can see this camera this far away, just really simple toe lifts. So lifting all the toes, pressing them down. If you wanna play with different toes, you know, lifting the big toe and the four toes, play with that, but just a little bit of toe movement. And then we're gonna go down into our squat. So flat feet if you can, if you can't, not a big deal. I'm gonna use my elbows to push the knees out and then just kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Just moving, then I'm gonna take one hand, whoop, uh, push that knee, and then do that same rocking back and forth movement, but maintaining the pressure on the knee going outside. And do the same thing on the other side. Push the knee out, straight the arm, rocking back and forth. And then we'll do the internal external rotations, so one leg out, and in, do your best. If you need to do this with your hands on the floor, not a big deal. Just whatever you can do, knee goes out, knee goes in, gently touch the floor. And then we're gonna do straight knees, but not all the way straight. So just kind of let yourself hang, hang down, relax, sway back and forth, let the weight of your arms pull you down. You can do some rocking, you can go to one side, pulse a little bit, other side, a little bit of pulse, sway back and forth. And then we're gonna slowly roll up, starting with the lower back, one vertebrae at a time. Slow, take your time to do this one. You can do a little bit of shaking, bouncing in between, just to keep everything relaxed. Relax, slow. Try to take at least like minimum 10 to 20 seconds to come up for this one. And try to feel your whole back coming up. And then stand up, relax a little bit, shake it out, and you should feel good now. So, Again, just a quick mobility sequence, feel free to follow along. I usually do this one in the morning or something similar to that. So I think it's a good practice just to take a few minutes and move all the joints of your body uh, whenever you can. So yeah, feel free to follow along. Let me know if you found it useful and let me know what else you'd like to see.